Fuck the Claters, yeah, yeah. The Clive Styles not going anywhere. Lunchbox. Hi, everybody. It's me, Lil Lunchbox. Welcome to the first edition of Clown Oppression 101. The first episode, maybe I should say. Um, if you're new here, my name is Lil Lunchbox. That is the name I prefer to go by. Um, Facebook won't let me change that on my personal account because that is an example of clown oppression that you are not allowed to have names that truly and fully express who you are. Um, people think that I'm kidding when I talk about clown oppression or that I'm somehow being offensive and I'm not comparing it to racism. I'm not saying that it's the exact same thing. I'm just saying that it's still a form of oppression when people try to tell you that you're not allowed to live your life the way that makes you feel best and, and the most healthy, the most happy, the most sane because they deem it to be wrong. That is a form of oppression if you look up the dictionary definition of the word. Clown oppression is real. And that is the point of this series, to illustrate it, to show you that it's not a joke, to show you that it is real, to educate you. We're just going to get right into it. Each episode will be focusing on a specific topic. And today's topic is video games. I wanted to just dive into something that I personally enjoy, but that I can acknowledge is problematic. I know people might be upset or annoyed, but I don't really see why. I'm just educating you on something that you may not even have noticed in video games. I'm not saying you're a bad person because you haven't noticed it. Um, I'm not saying it's wrong to play video games. I've been playing them since I was about five or six years old, but it's pretty mm, ignorant to act like there aren't issues within video games just because it's something that you enjoy doing. So I'm going to give examples of some games that have examples of clown oppression and to explain why it's oppression, why it's wrong, and what we can do to change video games for the better, basically. This is all about making society a better, more fulfilling place for all of us to live, including people like me, clowns. Okay, so I just want you to know that I haven't played all of the games that I'm going to be talking about, but I have played this first one from beginning to end. Um, it is called Heavy Rain, and the game is not about clowns. It's about a serial killer. Yes, it's about a serial killer. And yeah, but there is an element within this game that features a clown, and it is done so in a way that I believe is a form of oppression. In the beginning of the game, um, there's a cutscene and it shows a man who is at the mall with his wife and children. One of the children runs off. The man is a little frightened and upset. He finds his child with none other than a clown. This is a common trope within culture, movies, books, video games. It shows up again and again and again, the ominous clown. It's almost always a bad omen. When I played the game, I could tell something bad was going to happen, and as soon as I saw that clown, I was like, great, here, here we go again. I was hoping maybe it would be different this time, maybe it wouldn't be something bad that was going to happen, maybe it was a good omen for once, but alas, it was not. The clown is selling balloons, and the man buys one from him for his son. It is a stereotype that we are all working clowns, that, you know, some of us do enjoy living the clown lifestyle, but... I don't believe it matters, it's just the depiction of a clown in a negative way that matters. Anyway, so he buys his son a red balloon, the child runs off again because I don't really know something is deeply wrong with him um, mentally, I believe, they never mentioned it in the game, but I just don't understand why a kid who's about 10 or so can't just stop running away. Like his dad is like, stop, wait, and he just runs, he just runs off. And the dad is trying to find him, he sees this floating red balloon that's a symbol that the clown gave to him and he's using that to try to find the boy. Finally, he sees the kid on his way out of the mall, which I just, again, I don't know what's wrong with this child. The dad is like, hey, Jason! And the kid runs across the street and ends up getting hit by a car. Uh, I don't really, again, understand why the kid is doing this. Like, I get that some kids run off from their parents. I get that some kids have a hard time paying attention. 
It's almost as if they're suggesting that the balloon possessed the boy or gave him negative energy or intense stupidity. I really don't know. But it's all associated, like it's all connected to that red balloon, which is a symbol of clown culture. Balloons are a huge part of our culture. Um, if you've ever been to a birthday party, clowns tend to make balloon animals. I have not mastered that skill quite yet. I'm still learning, but I digress. The point is, is that they are associating this clown with this horrible negative thing. The child dies from getting hit by the car. I didn't really care so much about the child because he was just very, very stupid. Not that stupid people deserve death, but I just, it wasn't that, you know, the fact that they used a clown to try to illustrate how this was something bad and the fact that the child basically did it to himself, it made me just not feel that great about the kid. So, I mean, overall, this game wasn't that great. It was extremely overrated for many reasons, but the main thing here is that it it is just such a blatant example of clown oppression, and it's not surprising to me that a game that is just so poorly written in some aspects would rely on something like that to try to illustrate like, oh, this is bad, bad omen, bad things about to happen. And that's a common thing I've noticed. You see the ominous clown staring in the distance. It's an example of a hint that something bad is to come. It's not just in video games. I've seen it in movies and books, like I've said, but it does tend to appear in a few games and that is just one example. My next example, it's going to be the zombie clowns in Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> Hang on! Another game that I haven't, that I have played and um, I really enjoyed the game quite a bit. I know some people think that the first one was better, but I personally really enjoyed Left 4 Dead 2. What I did not enjoy was the need to include zombies that are wearing clown masks. Again, it's something that's just cheap. It's like, oh, clowns, bad, scary. It's very tiring that clowns are always associated with something negative. There are so many people who have a fear of clowns because of this type of stuff. When you see something like that, a zombie, a, a, a reanimated corpse running towards you with a clown mask on, and then you have to blow its head off, it's disgusting. I mean, I don't understand how that's not a form of clown oppression. Like, we put a mask that is a clown face on this monstrous thing that's coming to kill you and you have to kill it. I really enjoyed the game until I got to the part where there were zombie clowns running around everywhere. I was just like, are you kidding me? And that was before I, I had been living my truth, but I still felt like this feels so cheap. Again, like, oh, spooky clowns, how terrifying. Like the game is already a little creepy and it's not even really supposed to be that scary of a game. I mean, in my opinion, it's more so like a fun time. You're killing zombies, that's that's fun. But again, with the, with the, the just obsession with associating clowns with bad things, with death, with destruction, with mayhem, with something scary. I'm tired of it. So many people have messaged me saying that they've realized clowns aren't so bad after, you know, interacting with me and seeing my videos. And that's great. I'm one step closer to ending clown oppression. I'm just so tired of it. That these are two games that I've played and I was disappointed when I played them because of this blatant oppression. It's exhausting. Imagine playing something and seeing yourself in it and seeing it being villainized time and time again, being having its head blown off, having people chop it up with a chainsaw, set it on fire. And people get joy from that because they hate clowns, because they're afraid of clowns. And it's like a cycle that never stops going. It's like clown is scary, clown attacks. Her person is like, oh my God, that's fucking freaky. Person develops a clown fear. And then that clown fear reinforces that entire thing. And it's like so many young people are playing video games and getting this, this horrible introduction to clowns through it. It's just disgusting. It's so upsetting. This is an example of a clown that I have seen in a game. Um, I have not played this game. Final Fantasy VI, Kefka. Just stop. None of this makes any sense. <laughs> Destruction isn't supposed to make sense. It's only fun when it's senseless. Like I said, I haven't played this game, so perhaps it's not as bad as what I've heard, but it sounds pretty bad and I'm reading about it here. 
It says that he is a maniacal, short-tempered, flamboyant, destructive, and cruel clown. He is a psychopath with no regard for human life or remorse for the atrocities he commits and finds amusement in the suffering of others. So, a typical clown then. I found this in an article online and I will be linking it that talks about clowns that are disturbing or creepy or just clowns in games. I don't even really know what this is called. I was just reading about it, doing research for clown oppression. They say all of that horrible stuff and then so a typical clown then. Why is that? Why is that what people associate us with? Uh, no remorse for, for the atrocities that he commits, no regard for human life? So many clowns exist to make people happy and I'm one of them. My existence is not for your amusement. I just enjoy living my life like this, being carefree and not caring what people think. But that's awful that someone would say something like that. I mean, his utterly psychotic personality, like, it's ableist for one, but it is extremely clownophobic and that disgusts me to no end. Honestly, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't even feel comfortable these days playing most video games because I'm so wary. I'm like, it's probably gonna be something negative with clowns. When I play GTA, sometimes people are running around with clown masks on, killing, and it's like people associate this image of clowns with death and mayhem and destruction and it really makes me upset it's sad and it boggles my mind that people don't see that as oppression and i really don't get how when it's so blatant anyway this concludes the first episode of clown oppression 101 i hope i was able to enlighten you and i chose this topic again because it's something that's dear near and dear to my heart something that I've been playing, you know, doing since I was a small kid playing video games and I really enjoy them, but I can't really enjoy them the way that I used to with all of the anti-clown bullshit. And it's something that, you know, a lot of people have played video games and people have noticed these things and they don't even think that it's wrong. I mean, I don't even know what to say. And it's not always so blatant, it's not always so clear, it's not always a killer clown. Sometimes it's a clown that has horrible mojo that it spreads to stupid children or it makes the children stupid with, with their evil clown powers. Like we're always associated with stupidity, oh crazy clown, oh my god, we're so wacky and murderous. It's just, that's not how we are. I'm not like that, I'm not a violent person. I'm just a clown trying to survive in this world. Anyway, have a great day, everybody. Don't let the claters get you down. <sighs> never be afraid to be yourself. And never, ever forget that clown oppression is real. I am selling Clown Oppression is Real t-shirts. If you would like to purchase one to join me in this fight, the link is in the description. I am not stopping. This is just the beginning. We will fight this, and I will not... I repeat, I will not stop spreading the word about this epidemic. Have a good day.